Hello everyone, and today I bring you an answer about raids and convergences that simply raises more questions. Let's go ahead and get into it. So, we have an article interview with Andrew Gray, the design lead for Guild Wars 2, with the wonderful MMO.it. Definitely read this entire thing in the description. And what kind of caught my eye here was actually this little paragraph regarding raids and convergences, and kind of what's going forward there, and what their goals are, and kind of how they see convergences. However, it is a little bit... Um, ambiguous, and that's actually why I wanted to bring this up and share this with everyone so we can have a little bit of discussion about it and what we think it actually means, <laughs> to be honest. So let's go ahead and get into it. So we see Convergence is going forward as a great way to give players an open world experience that mirrors raid content. And you know what? I think that's actually very, very fair. Like, if you look at the Convergences in Secrets of the Obscure, the end bosses, they're kind of big. You know, they're kind of bad. They've got some phases going on there. Uh, Umbreal in particular, I think, is pretty exciting as a boss encounter. There's some stuff going on. There's some mechanics that players have to worry about. Nothing coordination focused, and I think that could be improved on. But you know what? Fair enough. That makes sense to me. Raids are great, but far fewer people engage with them than open world content for a variety of reasons. We want to make raids for the people who enjoy raiding, so rather than trying to change raids to attract more of those players, so we see convergences as a means to let more players experience the story, environment, and open world version of the raid encounters, but in a 50-person squad or public group rather than a 10-player squad. I would expect us to at least strongly consider adding 50-person convergence versions of raids when we release raids going forwards. Now, the part here that I think is very strange and a bit ambiguous is that, of course, a raid is already confirmed for Jam 2 Worlds, and so are Convergences. And the wording here, I think, is very, very weird, because they are kind of saying that, oh yeah, we want to kind of use Convergences to be that open world uh, version of raids. But here they also say, I want to expect us to, I would expect us to at least strongly consider adding 50-person Convergence raids when we release raids going forwards. What does that actually mean? Are the Convergences in Janthi Wilds going to be the open world version of the raid? Uh, like, is that what's going on there? I don't think it's entirely clear what's happening. Personally, I think I would be a little bit disappointed if that was the case, or at least if convergences remain as they are, because you have the kind of the champion farming phase and you have the boss at the end. I would much prefer if it, if it was more akin to there is a meta event that happens in the raid environment and you go from boss to boss to boss. I think a really important part of the raid experience is that sequential element. You know, you're delving through the dungeon, right? Like you're clearing through, you're fighting the first boss, then you've got a little sequence in between, then you get the second boss after that. If if it was just the bosses just get plonked into a convergence at the end, I think that would actually, I think that wouldn't be the same experience. And that's that's important here, right? Because what I think players who, who don't raid are frustrated that they miss out on is actually that experience of going through, experiencing the story kind of as it happens, right? Like as the raid, the events of the raid unfold as you move through. And I think convergences, at least as they are in Soto, don't necessarily capture that. Now, of course, if we are going to see that uh, convergences have been updated significantly and they play out a bit more like Dragonstorm, they play out a bit more like the marionette where they have that kind of more structure to them rather than like the random stuff and a, and a random boss just gets plonked down at the end, then okay, that could be interesting. And in fact, that will be a very interesting development, in my opinion, um, when it came to what convergences are. So that kind of turns them into a bit of a, you know, a very much like a, a meta event that you can start anytime you want, kind of akin to Triple Trouble in the open world or to Quackle. I really want to get some more details on this, actually. I really hope that we hear some clarification about what this actually means kind of is convergences, uh, are those convergences going to be the open world raid thing that we know is going to be happening. We know that they're doing four difficulty modes, the open world, the normal mode, the challenge mode, and the legendary mode for the raid in Janthea Wilds, but what exactly does that look like? I think it actually is one of the most anticipated features about the expansions. I actually know that a lot of people are kind of a little bit coked out right now. You know, they're ready to go, they're ready to log back into the game and give it another go with the advent of the next raid. So yeah, I really want to hear some clarity about this. Definitely an interesting system there. And you know, I was certainly surprised to hear convergences come back, but if they are going to essentially be kind of using that raid content to create that open world experience, then you know what, that kind of explains why convergences have stuck around. A little bit of a meme here that the Titans 
are being added to Convergences too. That's a little bit of a hint about what some of the big enemies, maybe even the raid, in fact, uh, is going to contain, which is rather exciting, I think so. But anyway, uh, that's a little update there. Let me know what you think about all of this, of course. Just uh, you know, just a little bit of a little bit of confusion here. We love it, you know, a little uh, you know, a little bamboozle as we <laughs> as we lead up to the expansion. Uh, maybe we'll get some more information on this later on, of course. If you want to read the full article, go ahead and take a look in the video description for a little bit of extra copium for people interested in that sort of thing. I think it's also worth noting that talking about raids going forwards is a very interesting statement to make as that kind of implies that raids are kind of back on the menu at least for the foreseeable future when it comes to instance content and kind of solidifies a bit of a move away from the strike mission format, of course. So I'm kind of expecting that we might end up seeing a Wing 9 as well uh, after Wing 8 dropping with the Janthea Wild. So, I don't know, I'm not saying to get coped out too much just yet, but I just think that's a little bit of an interesting turn of phrase there in this article too. So, well, there you have it. And as always, like, leave your comments, subscribe, come back and watch every day, follow on all the social media, watch the stream every day. Just do all that engagement stuff. You know what's going on there. Buy the game using Mario Fro. Like, it's on sale right now. You love it, okay? Get yourself some ults. Treat yourself, okay? Get the <laughs> get that, get those Wizards Vault dailies on lockdown, gamers. Okay, that's what you gotta get going. But anyway, that's gonna do it for me. Little mini one today. I'll see you next time.